Hi, we are going to cook some meatloaf today. So we have one pound of ground pork and one pound of ground beef. That's what we're gonna cook with our meatloaf. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and spray our pan. We have the oven preheated to 350. Just spray your pan so they don't mess and stick. All right, so now we are going to add in two eggs one and a half cups of milk so we're just going to add some in right now and see how much more we need just got to be careful all right this is um our breadcrumbs that I've made on another video so we're going to add in about two and a half cups of those. That was one cup. And this is about one and a half right here. Make sure you get all of that in there. Okay. Alright, now we're going to, before we add in our onions, we have about two cups of onions chopped little here that we're going to add in also. But um, let's kind of get this together. Cannot wait to eat this. All right, so go ahead and put in your onions. You don't have to use as much onions as I did. We just love onions, so. And they're so good in everything, especially when they're cooked. I like them raw too. You just don't want it too wet or too dry. I think since one and a half cup of milk would be make it too wet, so we used about a half a cup. So we'll probably use about a little bit more. I'm going to use a little bit more. And I'll tell you what I used. That should be good right there. So we used about a little over a half a cup. And that's perfect. Because the pork is going to make it juicy as well. Now you don't have to use pork if you don't like pork. I just want to use pork so it could be nice and juicy for me. Okay, so now we're just going to put, after you get it all up here, um, let me clean my hands and then we're going to add some salt and pepper. We have to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Alright, so let me get my salt here. And we're just going to add one and two pinches of salt here. That's perfect. Then with the pepper, we're going to put it in about the palm of our hand, and that's good. Alright, so now we're going to have to mix that up to mix our salt and pepper in here. Alright, so this is our first pan. Now you can make this in a bigger loaf pan. But, um, I'm going to give them to people, so I needed small ones. This works good for me. So you're just going to add it in here, just like this. And you have to pat it down once you've reached what you want to reach in here. 
Now you don't want to fill it up to the top. About this much is perfect. About that much in there. Just pat it down and you're good to go on that. Alright, so let's do the next one. Now make sure when you're completely done with it, you're going to pat it down. So I made three little loaf pans there. I'm not sure what size these loaf pans are, but I will check in just a minute. This works out perfect for me. So I made two smaller ones. And one bigger one here. All right, so let me wash my hands again. And then I'm gonna check what size those loaf pans are. I didn't even look. They are eight by three and three quarters. So. And now I just, you know, bought these throw with hands because, like I said, I'm going to get them to two forms. I'm going to share my meatloaf, so <laughs> this was just easier for me. All right, let me get me a knife right here because we're going to add barbecue on top. Some people add tomato sauce. Some people add um, ketchup. But we're going to use barbecue. All right, so you're just going to squeeze it. Now you're gonna take your butter knife and kind of scatter it everywhere. I have a feeling this is gonna be good stuff right here. Uh, I'm just using um, sweet honey barbecue. So this is just the um, I think the craft thing. Yes. You can use any one you want. The um, sunny kind is really good. But um, I don't have that kind today, so we're going to use this one today. Okay, so you're just going to just like layer it on there, just like that. Okay, that one's ready. want it layered on there so you can taste that barbecue. Now you're going to put this in the oven for for about an hour. Just make sure you check on it in an hour. If it's not quite done, put it back in for a little bit longer. Because it also depends on how thick it is and stuff. Since I have two uh, thinner ones, I'm going to have to watch them carefully. And this one is a thick one, so it's gonna it's gonna take longer to cook probably. So we'll just have to watch it and see. Now if you were gonna cook all of this in one loaf pan, one bigger loaf pan, then um it would probably just take like an hour. Since they are smaller and let's see what happens. I never cooked them in three different ones before, but I decided I wanted to cook for people today, so. And this just works out perfect. Okay, so now we got all the barbecue on top. Alright, so now we're actually going to take a cookie sheet, I guess. <laughs> Now we're going to place all of our pans of meatloaf on here. And we're going to place them in the oven. And we're going to check on them. So just keep an eye on them and make sure that everything is alright. Okay. 
Okay, so our meatloaf is done. Now I'm just going to get a little piece out. That's kind of a big piece. So I just cut it in half just to make sure that it's done. I cut them all in half just to make sure that the middle's done. And it took about an hour and ten minutes. Also, when it was about um, 45 minutes into it, into cooking, I actually um, had to pour out some juice because the pork had a lot of juice. So I, I poured out some of the juice, and I also added a little bit more barbecue sauce. You don't have to, though, but it just makes it better. Okay, so we're going to try our piece right here. Get a little piece. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. You can taste that. The bread that I made, you know, it's very good. There's the barbecue on it. Mmm. You have to try this recipe. It is so good. It is so juicy. Man. That pork really makes it really good. And the barbecue. Plus the breadcrumbs we had. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm, so good. I'm gonna steal a little bit of bar barbecue off the top of that. Put it on mine. <laughs> I love the, um, the barbecue in the oven, you know, when it gets, like, baked. It is so good. Okay. So. I'm gonna stop making y'all hungry. But it's so good. Mmm. So thank you so much for watching. And, um... I'll see you next time, and please try this recipe. Bye!